Hello all, I am Tech Adhikari. I am going to briefly describe about our poster on compact objects with reference to the work done at Ayuka. I will not mention many technical details. Please feel free to ask any questions that come to your mind after going through the poster. Compact object is a common term used to describe the astronomical objects like white dwarfs, neutron stars and black holes. When the high amount of matter is packed in a very small volume, it becomes compact. To give you a perspective, a neutron star comprises of 500,000 earth masses that is squeezed into a 10 kilometer radius. Most compact objects are the end stage of the stellar evolution and the formation of different types of compact objects depend on the initial mass of the star. So, if it is a light star, it will eventually become white dwarf. If it is a very massive star, it will eventually become a black hole. So, why do we study compact objects? We study compact objects for many reasons. The very first reason is in order to understand the stellar evolution because they are the end products of the stars. And in many cases, compact objects exist in a binary system which consists of a compact object and a donor star and a, uh, which is a normal star. And due to the high gravity, compact objects accrete matter by forming an accretion disk around it. And this process allows us to understand various astrophysical phenomena such as jets, outflows and how do they interact with the interstellar medium and galaxy and eventually how do they also uh, affect the ongoing star formation process there. Here in the picture you can see a system of a uh, binary system which consists of a compact object and a donor star and the compact object is accreting material from the donor star forming an accretion disk. Uh, also ejecting the material in the form of Z. And the most importantly, compact objects are very uh, useful to test various theories of physics, fundamental theories of physics, including the general theory of uh, relativity. At Ayuka, astrophysicists and astronomers have been working to answer many open scientific questions. We have been doing uh, both the theoretical work as well as observational work using various astronomical facilities uh, uh, from all over the world. India itself has few, uh, few facilities including AstroSat satellite. Astro AstroSat is a space mission which consists of uh, various telescopes operating in different energy bands. So, here uh, in this part of the poster, we describe various, various achievements uh, by Ayuka astronomers and I will briefly uh, uh, describe uh, some of the remarkable works, of course, excluding the technical details uh, which you can ask uh, by in, in chat box if you are uh, interested. You can see in the poster that the AstroSat observations of uh, galaxy X-ray transient, this is the Swift J16582, uh, which reveal the quasi-periodic oscillations, which are actually the fluctuations in the photons that we receive here and by studying them, one can uh, explore the physics of matter close to the compact objects. Next, uh, the time variation of cyclotron line in the high mass X-ray binary Hercules X1 is studied by using AstroSat observations and the result agrees with the results reported by other telescopic observations. Moreover, uh, Bhargava ETL, Bhargava and collaborators from Ayuka in 2019, they used AstroSat observations 
of black hole X-ray binary max is a 1535571 and reported that the frequency of quasi periodic oscillation is closely related to the uh, photon uh, index power index of a uh, power law power law index that's uh, that's this gamma which reveals that the QPO is related to the Comptonizing material instead of uh, accretion disks. So here I I, I try to summarize the uh, contents in a very short period of time. If you want to know more details uh, of, of these results, uh, please feel free to ask. Thank you for your kind attention.